Come over to talk to Santa Claus. I mean, uh, the June bug. If I talk to a June bug, I'll be all right. Are we rolling there, Timothy? Yeah. Okay, I have to move over? Yeah, so stay right there. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. Did I talk to you earlier? You look familiar. No. Huh? No. What's your name? Cheryl. Cheryl what? Enos. Enos? Yeah. What's your mother's name? Joanne. And your father's? Eddie. Oh, you're, you're my second cousin, Eddie's daughter. Right. Which makes you my third cousin. Right. When will it ever end? Third cousins. Amazing. What, well, what school do you go to do? East Junior High. East? Junior High School. Where is that? In? Brockton. Brockton? Yeah. You live in Brockton? There's a lot of Portuguese people there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You're Portuguese for one. I know. You know how to talk Portuguese? No. Any language? Not even the swears? <laughs> <laughs> no? Everybody knows the swear words in Portuguese. Or any language. Your father does? Does, yeah. he, does he use them much? No. No? He's a nice man. Yeah. Uh, what grade are you in? I'll be going in the eighth. Eighth? Yeah. Oh, you're getting right up there. You don't look that old. How old are you? Thirteen? I'll be thirteen in September. Thirteen in September? Yeah. You're too young for girl, boyfriends, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No? Yeah? Wait a minute, I don't know. Have you got a boyfriend? No. But you don't care if you have a boyfriend or not? No. It doesn't make any difference to you. Well, you're a cute kid, you know. You get a boyfriend anytime you want. She's got one? She said no. No lying on television. My brother. No lying on television. It's my brother. Your brother? Is your boyfriend? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> okay, what was your name again? Cheryl. Cheryl. That's a pretty name, Cheryl, and I'm glad I've been talking to you here and putting you on this tape. I'm sure you want to see it and how it comes out. So we're going to move right along. We only have a couple of kids left. It looks like everybody evacuated. Like there was a mosquito attack. And, uh, I know. I already anyway, did, you, did you have, uh, did you put any lotion or anything mosquito bite repellent on? No. You didn't? No. Well, you're going to get bitten alive. You know that. I am. Already. I know it. Okay, move right along. Next, this young man. It is young man, isn't it? Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thought maybe you just got out of the convent or something. Uh, what's your name, fella? Eddie Enos. Eddie Enos. That, se that seems to ring a bell. Eddie Enos, I, I, I said. Well, I mean, it rings a bell. I've heard Eddie Enos, I mean, like all my life. Eddie Enos. Everybody's Eddie Enos. When I say to my friends, in the, I said, you ever hear of Eddie Enos? Yeah. Which one? How many Eddie Enos are there? Three. Your Four. father? Four. Yeah. Your grandfather? Yeah. Me. And there's no other Eddie Enos? You Me. Stand for. And you? You, your father, are you, are you the oldest in the family? She is. I am. She is. Yeah. You go, you go to Brockton schools, too, huh? Yep. What grade are you in? Going fourth. You're going in the fourth? Yeah. Oh, that's good. They, I, that was my b worst year, the fourth grade. The teachers used to send notes home to my mother in the fourth grade. Oh, I lived Maybe in... Maybe it was I, bad. Huh? Maybe it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. What about you? Did you get notes? Were you bad? Yep. Huh? Yep. Did you bring them home to your mother? Yep. I did too, but some kids don't. <laughs> If you get bad marks in Brockton, do they still push you ahead to the next grade anyway, or can you stay back? It, no, if you get about 6 Ds, you have to stay back. 16? No, 6 Ds. 6 Ds. What about E's? There's no there's no E's. They have F's and no E's? Yeah. Aren't E's for effort or excellence? No, E's are for failing. Failing. F's are for failing. F's are for failing. Failure. If you never got any of that, how's your marks in school? Good. I got all A's and B's. Huh? I got all A's and B's. All A's and B's. Okay. I guess this interview has been so boring that they've been busting out of here. Is there anybody? How about you young ladies over here? Young ladies? Don't leave now. This is, it was just going to get interesting. It's too many mosquitoes. The light is bringing them all in. Okay.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Kitty Corner in New Hampshire. And uh, we've had a relative situation here. That is, all the kids that you talked to were related to each other. And it's not news in the Reposa family because uh, it started off at 16 children on the Reposa side. And things have busted out from there and busted out all over. As you can see, these people do not believe in birth control. They do not believe in... Uh, uh, they believe in propagation of the faith and procreation and all that, and it looks like we're going to get it, and the Portuguese will rule one day. Thank you very much. And Portuguese Timmy, thank you for your technician. Portuguese chauvinism. Chauvinism, right. Uh, it's, it's been coming on for a long time. Everybody thought that we were fishermen, but uh, we've busted out of that. We've learned how to, we've learned how to swim now. And... Uh, Yes, we are. And it's something. Is that still rolling, uh, Tim? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Timmy, we'll phase it out from here, and we'll probably catch you guys next week at Kitty Corner. Really? That's Good night. Do I just press that no, just uh, phase it out. <laughs>